There is this uh, common question uh, that in case there is a drop in your academic performance from 10th to 12th and from 12th to college, how would that be viewed by the interviewing officer? And how should you respond to a question in case it is asked by the interviewing officer pertaining to it during your interview? Well, to be able to help you frame an answer for this question, it will be important for me to understand the reason behind uh, the drop in performance because there could be many reasons. Uh, maybe there was a change in college or school that you were going to or perhaps the medium of, in medium of instructions changed or perhaps you found a particular subject tough or perhaps you were uh, participating in certain extracurricular activities and sports that was taking away a lot of your time or perhaps you had joined NCC and you went for camps or for some other uh, you know, uh, cross school or cross college uh, events because of which you, your time management uh, was not proper. So there could be many reasons behind the drop in performance. Now, what is important for you to understand is the rationale behind interviewing officer asking you this question. See, his prime concern is that did you have this drop in performance because you got waylaid or you fell into wrong company or you started wasting your time or by nature you are slightly casual and careless or was there some genuine reason in some cases there could be a domestic compulsion or there could be something which uh, uh, was behind this which was a genuine concern because of which there was a drop in performance. Now, the reason for this is that, uh, you know, it is understood that your future actions will be guided from the uh, actions of your past. So a person who is by nature slightly lethargic or easygoing uh, because of which he had a drop in performance naturally in future as well, he would exhibit those traits. So therefore, interviewing officer primarily is concerned about the attitude that you have rather than just the academic marks. So therefore, there is nothing wrong in case there was a genuine reason to properly justify that and explain to the interviewing officer what uh, went wrong and nothing wrong in saying that, sir, my time management uh, was a bit faulty. I should have been a little more careful and could have paid little more attention to the academics uh, because academics are as important as the extracurricular activities or sports that I was participating in. So there's nothing wrong in admitting to a mistake or uh, also if there was some genuine reason uh, because of which there was a drop in performance, nothing wrong in highlighting that so long as it does not sound like an excuse. So it should sound genuine, whatever reasons that you had and you don't have to kind of justify it uh, giving some false reasons or some false justifications because that will surely be caught by the interviewing officer. Uh, and so long as the reasons for the drop in performance were genuine, uh, the interviewing officer will definitely understand because to err is human and nobody is perfect in this world. So in case uh, whatever were the reasons that you learned from those and you moved on in life and uh, you know uh, those became your life lessons and because of that your future performance became better so if you are able to highlight it in that fashion i think the interviewing officer will surely understand thank you